Hi everyone, happy Friday. Dr. Beth Westy here. And today I'm gonna go over the six week jumpstart information. Super excited about it. There's a few things I wanna mention first. Um, if you or any think that anybody that you know would be interested in this, please share this video with them. So there's a button on the bottom that you can just click share and it will share the information. Um, if you are wondering if this is right for you or if you're wondering more details about this, please don't hesitate to comment or message me or anything. I would love to answer your questions. I'm going to be going through a few of these things right now just to kind of, you know, mention it so you get a little more in-depth information, get some good nuggets along the way. Um, and if there's anything else that you are wondering about, if you're like, well, what about this? Or I heard about that diet or what uh, does it incorporate these other things too? Please don't hesitate because I would love to answer that question for you. Um, the Six Week Jumpstart is a program that we're launching in January. Uh, we have a ton of great women already signed up and I'm super excited. So um, if you're looking at this, we are capping our numbers out and we're kind of getting starting to get full. So if you're thinking about it, you're on the fence. It's better to be in sooner than later so you don't miss out um, because this is I'm releasing exclusive information that is in my book into this group only. So uh, my book that's coming out, uh, The Female Fat Solution, is about exercise and nutrition that matches with your hormones. So women eating differently for the different hormones that you have in your body. Um, a lot, I've done a lot of videos on this. I've released a lot of information on this. There's a few things that I haven't mentioned yet at all talking about um, different phases that you go through in your life. So women have different stresses, hormones, and stress impact your body differently. So switching and tailoring things for you so you get the best result possible. Okay, so this is gonna be some special information that is only gonna be released in the group. But, um, until my book comes out, cause then it'll be in my book too. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God. Okay, so six week jump start. Uh, first thing that it encompasses is eating for your hormones. So women have different hormones in their body present at different times, estrogen, progesterone, and you're going to be learning exactly how your body works, exactly when to recognize these different things. This is what goes on. So to be sure to, to tune into what's going on in your body and then how to take advantage of estrogen versus progesterone. For example, estrogen burns carbs naturally and uh, you can get a lot more energy when you're in your estrogen phase. So your workouts can be different. Your recovery will be different. Carb eating is going to be different in your estrogen phase, which brings me to the next thing that I will go over, carb cycling. Now, there is some information out there if you just kind of Google carb cycle. What is that? What does that entail? There's a lot, there's some good information out there. Um, I will be very specific though. Carb cycling is not necessarily for everybody and the duration and length of the carb cycle is very important. If you have been low carb to no carb for an extended period of time, it can have damaging effects on your endocrine system, specifically thyroid and metabolism. So if you're thinking, oh crap, that's me. Uh, how do I get my metabolism going again? Carb cycle and the program will take you through it. And I'm gonna teach you a lot more about how to do it and how to get back on track with carb cycling if you feel like you've fallen off and gotten off track with your plan. Super great thing. Fasting, we're gonna talk about fasting, when to do it, how to do it, how to do it correctly. Fasting is one of those things that's been around for thousands of years. Like literally, if you look in a lot of historical documents and all these other things. So I'm sort of a nerd. Yesterday I did a video where I was like, I'm super awkward, which is, I mean, clearly. But I'm also a big research nerd and I love, love, love diving into things and being like, oh, I want to learn all about this. And it's not as a... Okay. So I get really excited about learning about information and diving into things. So fasting has been around. See, I was about to get off track. I was like, look, squirrel, take that. No, no, rein it in, rein it in. Stick with the fasting. Talk about that. So talking about fasting, it's been around for thousands of years. A lot of um, different societies and cultures throughout history have used fasting somewhere and oftentimes it's religiously affiliated all these other things great but they found that people are overall healthier when they incorporate fasting into somewhat of a regular routine with them cool huh yeah freaking cool so fasting how to do it how to do it safely what it does in your body how to take advantage of it and then to be up on the responses that your body's going to have um there's some great ways to do fasting and not great ways to do fasting. Because fasting has been around for a long time, some people think, oh yeah, I'm doing fasting. This is great. I'm going to fast until 8 p.m. today and then I'm going to eat an entire pizza. That's not fasting. That's 
that's not fasting. That's not how it works. Uh, so there's a safe way to do it and a healthy way to do it and a not safe way to do it. So I find that most people are misinformed about specific details that make a big difference in fasting and how that helps your metabolism, how that's going to let your digestive system rest, recover, and it will boost not only your metabolism, your immune system, it'll boost your nutrient absorption because all of a sudden you're whole digestive tract gets like refreshed and it's like, woo, I'm ready to go. Gonna absorb nutrients now. Yeah. It does that too. It does a little happy dance in there, right on your belly. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go through a lot of details on fasting. Um, and then the other thing that comes along with this entire six week jump start, which is sort of hard to, I don't, I don't know, quantify or describe exactly is support and other resources. So the support, any questions that you have, um, you will get answered and be able to navigate your most difficult areas very specifically. Uh, some women know, oh, I'm, I'm prone to fail on a plan at this point here. I always screw it up by this, or I'm worried that my stress is going to get involved, um, that type of a thing. Or I really want to know more about this, that, or the other, or I'm a person that I have to have the entire history or background of something before I jump in. You're going to be able to have resources of articles, videos, news clips, all these other things where you're, you're going to be like, holy cow, there's a ton of resources in here. Also along with resources, it is all laid out for you. Meal plans, you know, but it's, it's custom, you know, it can be altered to you. If you're like, I don't like fish, fish is gross, I don't want to eat it. Great. You can swap something out that you do enjoy so you can stay on track. Um, a lot of it is uh, flexible for your lifestyle. So not restrictive, not harsh, but flexible for you so you can be successful with it. Um, grocery lists, everything else. And then the, ah, oh, one, one of my favorite things about this is that with groups like this, when we start them, with what questions that you ask, or if you are celebrating something like, oh, I, I, I broke my plateau, or I was, I've not been able to have the scale budge, and all of a sudden I'm down two pounds. And some people may think, two pounds, what's the big deal about that? Well, for some people, it's a big deal if they haven't been able to achieve that. So just celebrating that with other people makes you more successful. It's kind of crazy how that happens. When you start celebrating things, and, you, and other people kind of join in and celebrate with you, your rate of success skyrockets. And again, there's a lot of studies and things on this, which I love to read too. So I incorporate all these other things, mindset, um, you know, staying on track and then the support and then taking that dynamic in with a bunch of really positive and supportive women, incredible results then happen. So very, very exciting. I'm super excited for all the people that are, have joined so far. And um, if you're thinking about it, jump in because it's a jump start. <laughs> I, I plan saying that, by the way. That was okay. Uh, but we are starting in January, so you still have some time to kind of think about it. But again, we, we will probably cap out very soon. So, super excited about it. Um, so it's Friday. Tip for the weekend. Again, I always like to give a little, little nugget for health overall, everything. Um, a lot of people hear, you know, and talk about being healthy, healthy through the holidays, things like that. Um, and one, and I do talk a lot and I've talked about eating protein before bed. I'll talk some more about that tomorrow cause that can be helpful on a Saturday night, but for a Friday night, if you're going out with a friend, something like that, it can be very helpful to make sure that you're drinking water, you know, after dinner to help flush things out and move things through your digestive system. But having some lemon ginger tea, little, little tip here, lemon ginger tea after dinner and then before bed can help kind of move things through your digestive system really nice and easily so that you wake up in the morning and feel good. So if you're going out to dinner with a friend or there's a holiday party you're going to, something like that, and you're like, ugh, I know I'm going to eat something. That's not typical for me. Okay, what am I going to do about it? If, if you can't get anything in beforehand or if you're, you know, have some protein before, drink water, all that stuff. But if you're like, I'm going to have dinner, I'm going to have pasta and a glass of wine because that's what we're doing and it's Friday and I feel like doing it. Great. After dinner, get your digestive system moving with lemon ginger tea. So a couple of ways to do the lemon ginger tea. One is to um, take, so let me just write that down. Let me, lemon, lemon and ginger tea. Do you like my new whiteboard, by the way? It's ginormous and I super like it. 
super love it. Lemon ginger tea. So I wrote that pretty quickly. Okay, so lemon ginger tea. So you can take fresh slices of lemon, just like a slice or two of lemon, and a slice or two of fresh ginger, and put it in a coffee cup, and then pour some hot water in it. Boom. Lemon ginger tea. Great. If you don't have fresh lemon or ginger, or if you're like me, where you have all the best intentions of keeping fresh lemons and ginger in the house, yet sometimes you go to see your lemon in the fridge and you're like, dang it, lemon, you got some mold on you. Now we don't want to eat you. You go in the garbage or the compost. Mm -hmm. That happens sometimes to me. So then I'm like, well, shoot, now I still want my lemon ginger tea. What do I do? Essential oils. Great way to get lemon ginger in. So I have a lemon and a ginger oil. And this is also really helpful for going out to dinner and on the go. You can either get lemon ginger tea, um, you know, order it there. Say, I just want a slice of lemon and a slice of ginger. If you're going to a restaurant, you know, they, they can provide you with that. Or just keep those little oils in your purse. Little lemon, little ginger, little hot water. Super fast and easy. There you go, lemon ginger tea. So a couple of ways to do it. One, you can use a fresh stuff, which is great. Or if you sometimes have your fresh stuff go bad, the oils work great too. So get your digestive system moving, refresh, restart. So you'll wake up Saturday morning ready to go and feeling great. So hopefully that's a, a great little tip, great little nugget. Yay! Um, and <laughs> thanks for all the, um, all the likes and everything too. I'm going to, yes, see Kate's saying yes, 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 yes to the lemon ginger tea. Yeah. It's, if you haven't tried it, try it, right? It's, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, it can't make that big of a difference, right? It can't be that big. It's one of those little things that if you keep doing it, it will make a bigger difference over time. You know, the happier your digestive system is, the kind of happier life is for you and your body is, and you're going to digest things better. Anyway, <clears throat> I, I don't, I'm going to talk about digestion on a different video more. Um, cause this video I was trying to focus on really going through some of these specific things, releasing what's going to be in the program. And I'm really excited about it. So, all right, everybody have a great weekend. Keep that lemon ginger tea in your back pocket. That's your little nugget for today. Little nugget for today, lemon ginger tea. So we'll try it. If you try it this weekend, let me know how it went for you. If you're like, yeah, I ate like this huge steak dinner and I was kind of like, Bleh. And then I had the lemon ginger tea and it was better. Let me know how you liked it. So, all right, everybody have a great Friday.